La prochaine catégorie est la médaille de distinction pour la formation en génie, décernée pour une contribution exemplaire à l'enseignement du génie dans une université canadienne. The next category is for the medal for distinction in engineering education. Education actually means to draw out. And when I see someone for the first time get a concept, that's just fantastic for me to see that, that discovery in their eyes. Part of my approach to, to engineering education is that we need to rely on our hearts and our minds together, not on rote memorization. If there is an approach that you can take to solve a challenge that the world is facing today, if that approach involves critical analysis, they embrace it right away. Students are very, very eager to use their minds, which are minds now that are very active minds. They're very communicative with each other and with society. And when they see a challenge in an engineering classroom that they can work on and apply their critical thinking skills, they, uh, they liven up beautifully. And that works very, very well in the classroom. And we need to do much more of that, actually. Diplômé de l'Université de Toronto, Edwin Novitsky est membre de l'APEGA et professeur agrégé au département de génie électrique et informatique de l'Université de Calgary. Il a été reconnu pour sa contribution à l'expérience étudiante. Edwin promotes the growth of students by challenging, encouraging and supporting them as individuals. He uh, does out-of-the-box thinking, he, he uh, takes you to industry tours, and uh, he arranges seminar series for the students so that they can have a better perspective about uh, not just the classroom teaching, but also what goes on in the industry. I don't think I've ever seen s s uh, somebody make such a, a connection with, with people. In addition to his, his obvious technical skills, which are really amazing, but you know, the connection he makes with, with people uh, you know, he goes out of his way to, to help, you know, large numbers of students. The type of adjectives that I hear when I hear Ed being mentioned are things like humble, a great listener, deepening my thinking, allowing me to explore my ideas and to magnify my own ideas. And it's, it's incredible. I can, I can think of no better adjectives for an educator to have than, than that. We have tremendous challenges, but with those challenges are wonderful opportunities where we can put our heart and our mind and our fingers as engineers, we can put those parts together and make this world uh, a little bit greener, a little bit better place. So follow your heart would be my advice to anybody who's thinking about going into engineering and have fun. For his commitment to teaching, innovation and excellence, Engineers Canada is proud to present to Edwin Novitsky, PNG, the 2011 Medal for Distinction in Engineering Education. Actually, I do want to echo Sherry's comments earlier. Wow. <laughs> and I think I'm going to add a little bit of an Alberta suffix to that. Holy cow. <laughs> my, my goodness. <laughs> thank you, Zaki. Thank you, Chantel. Thank you, Engineers Canada. I want to thank also uh, Ken, Cheryl, Nicole, Lane for that wonderful video production. It was fun to do that, folks. Thank you for that. When I was in grade five, there was a very compassionate teacher in grade six, and I would visit her quite frequently. And it's thanks to Mrs. Nobert that I can read today. She spent a huge amount of her time with me. Just a, a beautiful, beautiful teacher. Uh, later on, that uh, same boy uh, went on to a high school, of course, and in grade 10, he found a classroom which was a sanctuary for him. And I think that classroom was a sanctuary because of a special teacher, uh, a math teacher named Mr. Mr. Lado. Another compassionate soul is Norm Bartley. That's the, one of the people we saw in the video here. 
I teach with Norm sometimes. Norm is pretty much pure compassion. He's, he's my teaching role model, actually. There are so many compassionate engineers, uh, including those with uh, EWB Engineers Without Borders, uh, like the co-founders, uh, Parker Mitchell and George Roeder. There are compassionate engineers everywhere, and they work magic. Yes, we have big challenges today. There's no doubt about that. And we have something else in far greater supply. Our engineers have compassion. We see that compassion everywhere. Elka, my lovely wife, and I have seen that compassion in all the wonderful people with Engineers, uh, with, uh, engineers Canada. Uh, Lynn, Carol Ann, Lucy, Don, Mark, the wonderful volunteer staff. We see that in Alberta too, by the way. We see that everywhere. I have one little, little story to, to close with here. It's a story about Halifax. I was here about a dozen years ago for a conference. And one night I went out to stretch my legs and have some fresh air. And I heard the sound of uh, chatting and then running shoes behind me. And uh, as I turned around, I saw two teenagers running to the aid of a car that had just stalled. I think that really is the human spirit, no matter what age we are. Uh, it's something beautiful in each of us, and it's something that engineers have a tremendous amount of, a tremendous amount of compassion. Right now, I feel that compassion in this room. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>